why do we see on so many underwater scooters and diver propulsion vehicles rims like this? Most people think that they are there to protect our fingers and other body parts from this rotating propeller which is inside. But this is actually not true. Let me explain. Good Monday, Amphinauts and DPV enthusiasts. This is Marek Swoboda with Amphi Americas. And today we'll be talking about thrust augmentation. We all know that thrust is created, generated by a propeller. But many boats, many designs use additional geometries to augment, to improve this thrust, either to make it stronger or to make it more efficient or both. When we take a look at existing uh, DPVs, almost all of them have this ring, this rim wrapped around the uh, propeller. Uh, you can see it uh, in recreational DPVs, more professional ones. This uh, World War II uh, Mayale which is shown in this picture, or this futuristic uh, midget submarine design, which is Russian Titan II. Uh, the question is why all those different designs have the same ring, the same rim wrapped around the propeller? What they have in common that they require the same solution? Let me explain. Let's go back for a minute to our old friend, which is an airfoil or a hydrofoil or just a wing cross section. And today I wanted to uh, show you a different variant of this, uh, of this device, which is an asymmetric profile. You see that this particular wing cross section is different on this side and more flat on this side, right? So we have this hump here and we have a flat side on, on the bottom. So what, let, let's see what happens when we, uh, uh, when we push it through, uh, through the water. So of course, the fluid is going to flow along those lines here on the top and on the bottom. Because this pathway is longer than this one, this fluid needs to flow here a little bit faster than here in order to meet at the trailing edge here. So what's the consequence of this situation? Faster flow here and slower flow here. Uh, in order to understand it, we have to jump into uh, uh, something which is called Bernoulli's equation, which tells us that in any stream of fluid, if we take the velocity squared divided by 2 times g, which is gravity acceleration, times elevation, this is hydrostatic component, plus static pressure divided by density, it needs to be constant. And let me unpack it for you. What it means is that if this goes up, the static pressure here goes down in order for this left side of this equation to stay constant. So what it means for this particular wink is that we will have faster velocity here, thus we will have lower pressure here than on the bottom. So this pressure will push this wing up. It will create lift due to this Bernoulli's uh, equation. 
Okay, so uh, uh, it was a, a kind of a longish uh, introduction to those rims uh, we have around propellers. They are actually called cord nozzles. And they, 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 the purpose of those nozzles is to improve the thrust, to add more thrust and to make it more efficient. And it happens in two ways. So let's discuss the first way. Let's keep in mind this, this wing. Let's imagine that I can take this wing and wrap it around the propeller. And you can see it on this, uh, on this picture here, on this side of the whiteboard. You see that I took this wing and I wrapped this wing around the propeller and the hump side is here while the flat side is here and here. So if I flow fluid through this wing, which is right now a ring, I'm going to create force, the same force we saw here, I'm going to create force here and here. You see that this force it is at a slight angle. So I can decompose this vector into the vector which pulls this whole design this way and the vector which tries to squeeze the ring. Of course, squeezing is not going to happen because the material is rigid, but this thing gives us more thrust. So it will push us this way, yeah? the same way where the propeller pushes us. So this is the first way how this cord nozzle improves thrust. But also, as you, can, as you know, when we have a propeller, we have a negative pressure on this side and positive pressure on this side. So again, at the edge, the fluid will try to go from the positive fresh pressure to the negative pressure, like so. Thus, having something which is blocking this flow will enhance the pressure differential, thus it will create more thrust going this way. So, as you could see, this ring is not to protect our fingers. It's actually to enhance thrust, to ma make it stronger and more efficient. And cord nozzles can enhance thrust up to 20, 20 something percent. Let me add one caveat to my explanation. Cord nozzles work great for low velocities. Um, maybe up to 8 knots. If you move faster than that, then they become liability. They create, create additional drug, which is not compensated by this additional thrust they can give us. So only slow-moving vessels, boats, and submarines use cord nozzles. Speedboats, fast-moving vessels, they don't have them. So I hope it helped. If you like this video, please subscribe, give us a like. If you didn't like it, give us some feedback. We would love to answer your questions. Please visit us on Facebook and visit our website uh, where we explain how Amphi differs from other DPVs. And of course, see you next Monday.